hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl michelle marie i don't know why i'm always looking up there because i think that the camera is up there but it's right here but hi how y'all doing <laughs> welcome back to my channel so 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 happy to have you if you are new here you picked the right channel hello thank you for clicking on that um icon that picture what else to come over here i feel so blessed that you have joined me today in this video and i hope it will be a blessing today i will be doing a book review so if you are interested in this kind of content please keep on watching michelle marie's life welcome back to my channel guys welcome 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 if you have always been here look up yourself because you're already a part of the mission nation family and our newbies welcome love you love you love you so much all right guys so this is uh, yeah a real touchy one for me um before we get there uh, please remember as you come on in to like comment share and subscribe right tell a friend to come on over and join us over here okay so today I will be doing a book review and I will be reviewing my very first my very first book I will be reviewing my very first book, Overcoming Abuse by God's Design. That's the title of the book. Um, oh my God. Like I thought I was ready for this. Whew. Okay. Okay. So many emotions um, so many emotions right now <sighs> yeah um <clears throat> right so I will be doing this review oh my god oh my god oh my god okay all right so um wow this is like nostalgic uh, what do you call that nostalgic i have not opened this book in years years and it is it is like literally on the counter in my office my office space and i have not opened this book in years i haven't i mean i don't have to go back to the book for any information you know but i've not <laughs> i've not had occasion to open the book in years oh my god am i ready oh my god oh my god okay this is one of those moments this is one of those this is one of those moments that maybe should not be shown on camera, but whew. Okay. All right, so um, I wrote this book. I published this book when I was 33 years old, 33 years old. I didn't even realize that it's literally my 10th year anniversary it is literally the 10th year anniversary of me becoming an author guys guys oh baby jesus oh my god it's 10 years it's 10 years since i've been an author it's 10 what 10 years oh my god 
Oh my god. Oh my god. So, oh, 33 years old when I became an author. Um, it's it's really it's really weird. Um, how? Let me just tell you that the the, the book, book review will be short, but let me just tell you how you know this came about. I was a gospel artist, and I remember I was on stage. I was on stage. Um, the Lord was dealing with me, you know, where forgiveness was concerned. For those of you who don't know um, my story, I was abused by my father, sexually abused by my father um, as a child. And I had different levels and different types of abuse that I went through right and i was dealing with unforgiveness i y'all need to buy the book y'all need to buy my book y'all need to buy my book you want to know the details buy my book buy my book buy my book okay all right details will be down below buy my book all right um so i was you know dealing with unforgiveness and all of that and i was in ministry so you know the lord will do anything to save your soul so I could not continue in ministry, you know, harboring unforgiveness and all of this hatred and all of that for my father. And yeah, so I got to, um, I was at an event. I was at, at an event. I think it was Duncan's in Trelawney. I was at an event to sing. And um, it was at the event that I was prompted to share my story. I was, yeah, the Holy Spirit prompted me to share my story. And I was literally like, you must say mad like i'm not gonna tell nobody that crazy you know because it was it was embarrassing because you want to be normal and to me that wasn't normal it wasn't normal to be abused it's not normal to be abused by your dad it's not normal at all you know so that wasn't something that i was never want to share that and worse i was i was at this concert full of people i went there to sing you know and i i just you know push it away but the, the, the holy spirit just knows how to have you know its way and so when i went on stage to sing i i you know it wasn't me it wasn't me it was just the lord and so that was the first time i shared my story publicly i believe me to this date i've not got a response um like i did that for that event and to god be the glory and the fact that i shared my story publicly empowered me to to continue so many persons came to me that night um sharing their story and saying how brave i am and how proud you know um they are that i was you know brave enough to do that and so that the journey started there that led to me publishing my so it's my life story very weird um title overcoming abuse by god's design and many persons ask why did you choose that title like it's weird you know why did you say god's design um i say that because nothing takes god by surprise like nothing shocks him he knows everything before it happens as a matter of fact nothing happens unless he allows it to happen and he allows it to happen so it's a part of his design for your life and he knew that further down the road because this happened between the age of eight to about 12 thereabouts further down the road i would be a life coach today helping other persons to go through what i went through he's an intentional god right so it looked messy then but today we see why i had to go through that to help others right so that birthed my book 10 years ago and i'm grateful to the lord all right so it's a very small book because you know it's just me sharing my story and a little bit of my journey from there to where i was healed and so we um have just five chapters just five chapters and they're pretty you know short chapters persons just sit down and, and one read and and it's done right and they have it to go back over each time uh chapter one <laughs> is how it all began and oh my book is dedicated to my grandma my book is dedicated to my grandma Eglan Mahalia Jones 
listen one in a million one in a million so chapter one is how it all began and as the name states it started from the beginning right so all the gruesome um well chapter one speaks about me being sick as a child because i was also battling a terminal illness right so i was also battling a terminal illness because my dad wasn't in our lives until i got sick and my mom had to look for him that's when he came back in our lives so chapter one spoke about that chapter two he touched me there and i don't have to say anything else right he touched me there that is chapter that was chapter two chapter three so chapter two speaks about the ordeal right with my dad um chapter three caught and handed and this was where um it came out to light please go buy the book read the book and and see how um it got out to my family that this was happening to me because i could not have shared it with anybody for for many years because my my family was threatened he was threatened um threatening to abuse them because he was very abusive in more ways than one and so i was you know carrying the weight of that on me not just to protect myself from him but not to do anything to upset him for him to abuse my mom and my siblings you know so that was a lot for an eight year old nine year old to carry so um caught red handed read it read it okay read it all right that's chapter three chapter four on my own trusting in god alone um this speaks to me leaving home because i could i was i was 18 19 at the time and it stopped in one way but increased in another way he was extremely abusive and and daring and barefaced and i'm a young adult now and i wasn't gonna know right so I, I i was a murderer at heart because at that point i was literally prepared to kill him if he made any moves and so you know before that happened let me say you know i'm just gonna leave and so i left home at that age to do life on my own so that is what chapter four speaks of on my own trusting in god alone and then we move to chapter five which is the final chapter a mess into a message this is the final chapter and it speaks to my healing it speaks to um how the lord brought all of this out in in such a weird way in such a weird way yeah um you know i was dying in unforgiveness i was dying in pretense because trust me you could not tell me that i wasn't healed because i was operating in my ministries life seemed to be okay whatever i was married with my three babies and i was that was good that was good that was good that was good you understand and i thought that you know that was what you know my life was supposed to be um my, my life's purpose was just to be a wife and a mommy i i didn't see me being anything else i was satisfied with being that and that's it but the lord had so much more in store for me and so i had to get to the place of healing in order to become who he designed me to be and so in a weird way in a weird way the lord brought about my healing and so that's the final chapter i'm missing to a message and listen you want to get the message okay so that's my first book review <laughs> and what better book to start with but mine right so guys you know i have other books so those will come okay but come on you need to get my book you need to get my book my first book and just drop it in the comment section say happy 10th year author's anniversary come on 10 years as an author 10 years 10 years as an author i feel cute i feel cute i do i do feel cute i feel so proud of myself and let me hear you let me hear you right yeah let's celebrate together 
all right thank you guys for joining me in another video sorry if the fan is loud my heart bad who care spanish town jamaica hot bad good right um thank you for joining me in another video um i really appreciate you guys being here with me please if you have not yet subscribed okay all right remember god don't like ugly okay right and please come on like up the video like no cute girl thing no like up the video like up the video come on give it a thumbs up talk to me in the comment section i don't bite talk to me talk to me in the comment section let us have a conversation all right guys tell a friend to tell a friend to join us over here at mission nation bye guys